and we're back. Okay, so as y'all saw, I just made copies of all of these images as a separate layer. All of the ones I had open. So now I can come up here and just kind of close out. Wow. Well, that was a lot of images. Okay, so now I only have them all copied in here as separate layers. I have them in their own group as images. So we can keep everything nice and tidy as the tidy type of person, I guess. Um, so I'm going to make a layer here. Not a layer. A group here. And we're going to call this group Masked Images. So we can start with this one here. Our nice masked layer and make copies. So first and foremost, I want to edit the mask on here. And so with that being said, I'm going to use the masking tool and I'm going to just kind of fill in. I can select all of our letters that we don't want to go with first off the bat, so the B, I, L, E, N, and the E, and I'm just going to fill them in with the black. And now that's the only part of this layer that's going to be masked. Um, well, hold on. Kind of just want to make a new. Oh yes. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Go away for a second. Okay, so I'm going to make a new layer. And now that I have just the A selected, I want to make a new mask. So the same way we did the original one that has all of Abilene, we just want the one letter. So mask. And I'm going to rename this A so I don't have to keep looking back and forth. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool beans. So now I'm going to select the letter B. And we're going to do this. Oh. See, I should just make a, I'm just going to make a layer that's just the letters again. Yes, okay. So now I'm selecting just this letter B and I'm going to make a new layer. Put it up here, name it B, and I'm going to make a new mask for it. So now it's the letter B and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to go really quick. That's okay with y'all. Okay, so select my abilene, select my next letter, make a new layer, put it in our folder of the masked letter forms, name it I, not C, though I really wanted to name it C just now. Add a mask to it of the letter I and keep on keeping on. So next one, L, new layer, drag that up there, name it L, <laughs> add a mask. E, same thing. Do, 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 do. In, new layer, drag it up, in, no, 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 no. I clicked things. New <laughs> mask. And then last but not least, the last E. New layer, up, E. Okay, so now that we have all of these, we can start working with our Abilene. So first let's look at our images and decide what we want for what. So images. We have the dancing one, the ballroom, Fort Phantom, Jacob's Dream, 
really small one. I don't know if I'll use the band one. The grace, the giraffe, and then my black and white ones. So uh, let's start with this first one. I'm going to select all on this and edit copy this layer and then come into my mask images select my A and paste it in place maybe I feel like it didn't do it I wanted it to do <sighs> copy I'm going to look silly here in a second, and I know it. Okay, so I figured out what I was doing that was silly. So let's try this again from the letter B. Okay, so what I ended up doing was actually coming down here and selecting my image, which was image 12, layer 12, and going with that. Um, I'm going to use layer 10 for this next one. So I'm actually going to make a copy of this layer and pull it up here to where it's right by layer B. I'm going to rename it B and I'm going to move it well, I should show it first, but then I'm going to move it to where the B is about and kind of situate it I like it being kind of at an angle with the words something like in there and now I'm going to accept that, hit enter, and I'm going to take the clipping mask we've created and I'm going to drag it and apply it to this layer. See how it has it highlighted? And by doing that, ta-da! B. You see? I'm very proud that it actually worked. Okay. So this is not a necessary layer anymore, so I'm just going to do that with every letter now. So we have used 10, we've used 12. Let's use one blue. I think that would work because Jacob's Dream is so vertical for the eye. So I'm going to actually make a new layer of this. No, I'm not. That's not how you do it. I'm going to make a new layer of this. Pull it up here. Put it with my eye. Rename this eye. Move it to where I want it. I should probably turn it on so I can see what I'm doing. Line it up with the letter I, which is about here, and transform it, free transform, rotate it. Kind of, I think it's like right in here. Select that, and I'm going to apply my clipping mask. For this one, um, I think I need to resize it. In a very convoluted way. So don't do it the way I did it. Okay. This is much easier. And so now I'm going to drop that in there. And so we have our Jacob's Dream. Um, I mean, once it's in there, kind of in there, but there is a way where we can move it. I'll do another demo on that here in a little bit. I mean, it's like, it's a lot, I, I'll do another demo on that in a little bit. So first let's do all of the letters, and then we can work on adjusting them. So L is, hmm. That might be a good one for E. 
the giraffe. You can use, I guess I'll use a black and white one. Paramount, maybe. So I'll make a copy, pull it up. Rename it L. And apply our clipping mask to L. I didn't move it first, so I'm kind of being silly. Let's move it first. <laughs> and you can resize it. Make sure it's the height of your letters. So it doesn't get cut off though. That okay. wouldn't be fun. So then I'll put it kind of where L would be. Somewhere in here. And accept it and drop that. So L shows some of the details of the Paramount. Kind of cool? Yeah. It's kind of, I mean, this is definitely a project that has a lot of different things you can do. Yeah. Let's do our giraffe next. A lot of steps, but it'll turn out looking really cool. This is something that you could put in your portfolio later on. And it would be very beneficial to show a lot of your skill set within Photoshop. So that's kind of why I wanted y'all to look at it. It's an E. And also that's why you wanted us to use the... Yeah. The ones that you have the rights to use, photos that you have rights to use. Yeah. Yes, sir. Exactly. That one's kind of funny. I don't know. I think I'm going to change its direction. And what I just did was I went back a step. So I said, mm, oop. I wanted to try and redirect the direction of our giraffe friend. <laughs> and so I'll try this and see if I like it. Still not so much, so... Kind of move him over, make him smaller so you get more information. Maybe like that. Oh, but see, I had to make sure it lines up. So about here. Try that one. Oh, didn't line up. So now I'm just kind of guessing and checking. I guess I could do it more like that if I made it smaller. Get more information from him. Soon, pretty soon we'll need to go out and take new pictures of the giraffes. Hmm. I think that's pretty much, with this picture, that might be as good as it'll get. Yeah. But it's kind of fun. Um, your E. Two more letters. Do them pretty quick. Do the grace, maybe. New layer. Bring it up here. Make it our N. Move it. Don't have to move it much, do I? It's already almost where it belonged. I'm going to come up here and tilt it. And my N will be about here. So I kind of like the idea of this being the top of my letter N. I hope that it's lined up. You can always check it, though, by turning on this layer and kind of 